Hello right, guys, Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com, that's Taylor Swift with Try Again. Per request of Taylor Swift fans, how's that? Tune standard for this. Really cool, man. It's a good little picking progression here. G major. Um, you want to go 3E, 3B, and 3E. You don't really need the uh, second fret on the A, so I'm not going to bother pushing it down, but if you want to for practice sake, it's not a bad idea. Uh, especially if you haven't been playing a long time. Um, if you've been playing for a while, you can pick and choose how you want to do that. So, no pick needed. This is finger picking. Uh, the way I'm finger picking it may be different as far as which fingers I'm using, but um, it's the right notes and everything. This is the way it's played by Taylor Swift's guitar player. Go uh, thumb E, thumb D, index G, middle finger B. So, thumb D, so, index G. Thumb D. And then middle finger high E. So, slow down, it's... And that's going to go four times. But I think it all there's an altered. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the second time um, ended on the B string instead of the high E string, so it'll go like this. So listen to this in context. That last note, okay? You're gonna do that four times. Okay. I was actually going to say, I'll be right back, me and Sadie. We're going to go to Circle K and then go with Mike. Okay, sounds right. good. Hello, you two. That's Anthony, and he came in here because it's his guitar. Mike's awesome. Anthony's awesome, too. All right, next part. Um, you're going to go to, uh, now I believe it was four times of, of this. You'll do that four times. Then when it changes, you drop to C add nine. And what you do is take your middle finger, go 3A, first finger 2D, and leave the pinky and third finger where you have it. And uh, it's real common to go from a G major to this chord. I can't tell you how many songs, there's tons that do this. Um, it's kind of the same concept here. Okay, less string skipping because we're dropping to the A string for our root. Go thumb A, thumb D, index G, middle finger B. Now, you know, you could go thumb, index, middle, ring. That's fine. Either way. Then thumb D, index G. Thumb D. And middle finger high E. And that one you do four times. And then think like the beginning of the song, but this time they're using um, the note that I told you you didn't have to use. It's a G slash B. So second fret on the A string with your first finger, leave your pinky and third finger where they're at. And you'll go. Okay, that's like uh, the beginning. A, D, G, B, D, G, D, E. And then the second time through, don't end it on the high E, end it on the B. And I didn't explain the fingers because I think you get the idea at this point on the fingering. And then you're back to the C add 9 chord, 3A, 2D. Open G, 3B, 3E. So your pinky and third finger, you don't even have to move them. They stay there. That was three times, right? And then you just hit the A string and let it ring. Okay, so let me play just that part. not in there. What am I 
doing? All right, guys, Taylor Swift with Try Again. And do, please do, try again. And I will, too. We can all try together. If you have questions, let me know. Really cool song, man. It's, uh... It's, and as far as the lesson's concerned, it's awesome because it's, it has finger picking involved in it and a really nice pick pattern. It's beautiful. If you have questions, let me know. I'm here for you. Subscribe to my channel. Once you do that, send me your favorite songs. Then I'll figure them out the way these bands are playing them, the guitar players in the bands, that way you can jam with them. Hold on. <coughs> I'm getting sick. Um, but yeah, man, that's kind of my motto is I like to show you guys the songs, the way they're actually being played. <clears throat> there's lots of variations you can use and I just you know I do my research and look for finger placement if needed and all that good stuff um, but if you have questions like I said let me know do subscribe do send me requests I have so many song requests but I will put it down and eventually get to it and uh, email me rocking at hotmail.com if you have any questions about anything or hit me up at my YouTube inbox or in the comment section of YouTube, there's several ways. If you really want to take your playing up a few notches quicker, I'm teaching on Skype, and my Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. Send me a request. It's fifty dollars an hour, twenty-five dollars for a half an hour, and uh, only add me if you're going to be taking lessons with me. All my Skype students from around the world, or all my Skype friends or students from the United States and around the world, so it's just easier for me to know everyone on my Skype. I don't want to like start questioning like who's this person? What's you know? If I know that they're a student of mine, I won't sound stupid going, "Hey, what, what days are lesson or whatever?" You know. Um, my PayPal email is tbxpunk at aol.com. If you'd like to make a donation to this channel, it really uh, frees me up to be more exclusive to get to these requests even quicker. I love doing this, you guys. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. But um, any help that is offered is much appreciated. If you can't. Don't sweat it. Don't feel bad. Um, just keep coming. Spread the word about Mike Gross, rockinguitarlessons.com, and youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. Take it easy, guys. See you later.